I'd like to tell you a bit of a story which might serve as a bit of a warning to you. Many years ago I was walking through town with a friend and we rounded the corner and a group of young guys came towards us. They asked me for the time. Now I took this a little bit sceptically and stood back very slowly, lifted my arm and barely glanced at my wrist for the time and then gave these young guys the time. They then gave me a bit of a look around the eyes and walked off. Then my friend said to me, why were you so cautious? Why were you so suspicious about these guys? And I said to my friend, there's no way they wanted the time. They didn't really want the time. They wanted to distract me or distract both of us because they were looking for somebody to, to mug or to attack. Now, my friend didn't like this. He said I was being too suspicious, too cynical, and I should be more trusting of people. But this really is the moral of the story, but I'll come back to it at the end, so keep watching. Now, a couple of minutes later, my friend and I were at a crossing, and now the crossing was red for us, the pedestrians, but green for the traffic, so the traffic was going through these lights. Now, as it happened, one of these young guys that we saw earlier was now by himself. We recognised him, he had a blue coat and a red hat. He was walking across the crossing towards us, i.e. dodging through the traffic but coming towards us. Now, me being the slightly cynical self that I am, noticed this guy and thought, once again, this guy might be up to no good. So I was already on the lookout and waiting for this guy to make some kind of move. This guy walked between me and a lady that was stood to my right hand side. Now, bearing in mind, I was watching him all the way across and as he came through. As he came between us, he grabbed onto the lady's bag and tried to make a run for it. Now, as I said, I was already watching him as he was coming across, so I was already ready for this. So in the blink of an eye, I'd reached out and grabbed him by the shoulder, pulled him back, took him down to the ground because I'm a martial artist and I can do that in a snap. I took the bag off this guy and I gave it back to the lady who was screaming hysterically by now. I got this guy in a restraint and told him that he was being detained until the police could arrive. In the midst of all this, I looked at my friend almost with the look as if to say, I told you so. But obviously I didn't say that, I was more concerned with the guy on the floor. Now, the moral of the story is this. When someone asks you the time, particularly in a group of people, I'm not saying everyone is out to mug you because they ask for the time, but particularly in today's modern world, Almost everybody, if not everybody, has a phone, has a watch, or at least a thousand other ways to get the time or directions or whatever it might be. So most often, if not always, that question is to distract you. It blinds you to what's really going on. Because when someone asks you a question, your mind wants to answer it. If I ask you now, as you sit watching this video, how many chairs do you have in your room? Immediately, your mind is going to think of the number of chairs in the room. If I say to you, where's the door in your room? You're going to think of where the door is. So when you're out and someone asks you what the time is, your mind wants to answer the question. It's called a blind second. And for that blind second, you are not thinking about what's really going on. Your mind, even for that split second, is thinking about the question that you've just been asked. And it's that moment, that very split second, that they might try to take advantage of you. Whether it's to take your watch or your phone or your wallet or whatever. So once again, not that everybody you meet on the street is going to try to mug you, but certainly in this case, I couldn't have scripted it as a better story to be careful when you're out, that you don't get distracted so that you don't fall prey to muggers. I hope that's useful. Please do tell that story to somebody or better yet, share this video with them so they can watch it and hear it for themselves. In the meantime, please do like the video and subscribe and thank you for watching.